Welcome to the SoChalk YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Please follow the channel to see more great videos. Next, SoChalk would like to send you a video introducing the nylon recycling process to create HDP plastic pellets for different applications. The first step is garbage collection. Plastic waste is collected from different sources such as public landfills, waste processing plants, or from companies' own recycling systems. The second step is waste classification. Plastic waste is classified to separate it from other types of waste such as paper, metal, and other plastic. The third step is washing after sorting. Plastic waste needs to be washed to remove dirt, grease, or residue on the surface. The washing process can use water and detergents that are not harmful to the environment. The fourth step is crushing and crushing after being washed. Plastic waste will be crushed and crushed into small pieces, ensuring that they are easy to handle in subsequent recycling processes. The fifth step is dispersion and melting. 
Small pieces of plastic waste are put into a reactor or furnace here. They will be heated and melted into a plastic mixture. The sixth step is refining. The nylon plastic mixture is purified to remove impurities such as unwanted colors, viscosity agents, or any other toxic substances. This process usually includes filtering and cooling the resin mixture. The seventh step is to create new HDP plastic granules. After refining, the plastic mixture is put into molds or injection systems to create new HDP plastic granules. In this process, the plastic mixture is pushed through molds or injection systems to create plastic particles of uniform size and shape. There are many types of recycled HDPE plastic pellets. For different applications, here are some common types. High quality recycled HDPE. This is a type of HDPE plastic resin. Produced from recycled HDPE plastic waste, thoroughly refined and of high quality. This type of plastic is often used in applications that require high durability such as water pipes, containers, or outdoor toys. Medium quality recycled HDPE. This is a type of HDPE plastic resin produced from recycled HDPE plastic waste but is not as thoroughly refined as high-quality plastic. This type of plastic is often used in applications such as plastic pallets, crop protection nets, or other industrial plastic products. Black Recycled HDPE This is a type of recycled HDPE plastic pallets made from black HDPE plastic waste often collected from trash cans, water pipes, or other black plastic products. This type of plastic is often used in applications such as pressure water pipes, drainage systems, or black industrial products. Colored Recycled HDP this is a type of recycled HDP plastic pellets created from colored HDP plastic waste, usually collected from plastic bottles, plastic containers, or other colored products. This type of plastic is often used in the production of colorful plastic products such as toys, bottle caps, or packaging products. The eighth step is quality check. 
after being created. New HDP plastic pellets will be checked for quality. Test parameters may include color, transparency, ductility, and durability of the product. The ninth step is packaging and distribution, finally! HDP plastic pellets after quality inspection will be packaged into appropriate packaging and distributed to manufacturers for use in the production process of products new plastic. Each type of recycled HDP plastic pellets has its own properties and applications. And choosing the right type depends on the specific requirements of the final product. Thank you for watching. Please follow the channel to see more great videos.